Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So yesterday we did uh, an analysis on what befell Margaret Nyakango, the controller of budget. Margaret Nyakango was arraigned in court and forced to part with uh, a certain amount. I hereby admit her to a bond in the sum of Kenya shillings 2 million with one charity of similar amount. There is an alternative for Kenya shillings 500,000 cash bail. For her bond so that she could secure a temporary uh, freedom to continue with her, her work while she's waiting for the court to resume uh, this case uh, that she was charged on the case about fraud they supposed to reduce to, to resume on the 13th of uh, uh, December there so Raila Molodinga yesterday weighed in on this matter talked about his suspicion regarding what it says uh, the government motives to have Nyakango silenced so Raila today visited that matter again you know and for those who followed the, the events surrounding Nyakango's uh, arrest you must have realized that there were so many senators so many uh, MPs who talked about this thing and termed it he nile kunyanyasa mfanyikazi asionge and in Raila Molodinga's dossier today he has echoed the same same words he said that this is something that the government planned. So Chemutai going asked Raila Molodinga a very interesting question regarding Margaret Nyakango. And this is what she said. My name is Chemutai going from Citizen TV. And um, my question is um, the control of budget and the tribulations she's facing. Um, there's a lot of questions that have been raised regarding the commitment of the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa administration in combating corruption and uh, whether uh, the tribulations on the control of budget are basically meant to slow her down owing to her sharp criticism of the government and possibly its operations. Yeah, uh, I made a statement yesterday and I saw that this matter was in Parliament also this morning. Um, uh, our belief is that um, this lady is actually being uh, witch hunted because of the stand that she's taken. Because recently when she appeared before the bilateral uh, team at BOMAS and talked about inflation of salaries, that, that her own salary had been inflated in the budget uh, more than th three times, um, basically uh, uh, exposing the corruption that exists in, in the government. I think that uh, people are uncomfortable with her. They want to get rid of her from that office. Because you're talking about something that happened 80 years ago. Uh, the EEC is, is, is the one which is prosecuting. But she was interviewed and appointed. And before somebody is appointed to a position like that one here, you must get actually a, a certificate of clean conduct from um, ESCC. It's, it's one of the, the, those, those, those bodies. Uh, wh why now? Did they not have the, 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 those records at that time? Uh, why is it that now that they all of a sudden have come up over the, with this issue? So our view, this is basically just a wish hunt. They want to smear her name so that uh, they, they get rid of her. But she's a holder of a constitutional office. And my view is that in spite of the, 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 the charges which they have leveled against her, she still seems to be innocent until she has been proved guilty through the due process. So she should continue to exercise her duty as controller of budget. And Raila's response was very clear and straight to the point that Hili swalazima serikali inajua. Hili swalazima serikali inajua. One. 
hili swala so zima ni la kumwambia Magreth Nyakango asiongee kama vile aliongea wakati ule kwa bilateral talks that is the NADCO eh, team na in my previous analysis when I was doing analysis on this issue of Margaret Nyakango on what Kabando Kabando said I said that one of the reasons were maybe because Nyakango exposed the rot in the treasury like the issue of her being allocated a salary that is a third of what has been budgeted for so we we suspect that could be one of the reasons and Raila Molodinga has said it when responding to Chemutai Going's question now it's alleged that the parliament debated this issue of uh, Margaret Nyakango. They talked about it because it was something of national interest because everybody is literally talking about it. So it is something you can say of national interest. And that's why the parliament had to debate this matter. There is nothing in our constitution and in our laws that say either the Auditor General or the holder of an independent office like the controller, uh, controller of budget are immune to prosecution. And in fact, that will be the height of impunity if we say that a holder of a constitutional office, like the leader of majority, is immune to prosecution. I was a co-chair of the National Dialogue Committee. And I know a matter that Margaret Nyakango said in that committee that has now been blown out of proportion. And I had the leader of minority allude to it, although selectively, with some selective amnesia, of what was said in that committee. But because I was chairing that committee, I know when the, the National Treasury CS answered on the question of whether there was budgeted corruption on expenditures in the office of Margaret Nyakango. Because I remember Margaret Nyakango said that there is budgeted corruption and I can give the example of my own office, where I am the only public officer. I know how, how much I earn, but what was budgeted for my pay was almost two times. And Honorable Speaker, the National Treasury did explain that part of what was budgeted for in the Office of the Controller of Budget included other entitlements to that office like car grants, mortgage, which had not been taken. Who then would have been the beneficiary of that money other than herself? Therefore, <laughs> is a fallacy on our speaker. And Raila's perfect response to Chemuktai going addresses the question that so many people have as to why the arrest of Margaret Nyakango could have taken place yesterday, after almost eight years. Why it could have taken place Jana, if the claim is on something that happened eight years ago. So, I think that is what Shreila Morodinga said as far as the question that Chemutai going asked and as far as this matter of Margaret Nyakango is concerned. So, I'd like to rest my case there. Uh, no much to talk about. The rest, some of the details, so many details about this case, we talked about it in our previous analysis. So, let me just wind up there. So, and to those people who have not subscribed to our channel, I'd like to kindly request you to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's so, so, so important so that every time we upload any video, you'll be getting notifications on your smartphone. So, ladies and gentlemen, for those who supported us, I want to say here that I'm forever grateful for that support. Because without you, this channel cannot grow. So, until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.